Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome back to our SPI board review. Let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Question 76. What is the best way to eliminate this artifact? A. Decrease the pulse repetition frequency. B. Increase the number of scanning lines. C. Decrease the sector angle. Or D. Adjust the TGCs. The answer is A, decrease the pulse repetition frequency. So this is called a range ambiguity artifact, and this occurs when deep reflections return to the transducer after a second pulse was created. So the ultrasound system will think that those deep reflections came from that second pulse and will place the reflections in a more shallow region. And so the best way to eliminate this artifact is by decreasing your PRF because your PRF is too high. Question 77, what is the best way to eliminate the color Doppler artifacts in this image? A, increase the pulse repetition period. B, increase the pulse repetition frequency. C, increase the wall filter. Or D, increase the color gain. The answer is increase the pulse repetition frequency. So as you can see here, you have a little bit of ghosting slash flash artifacts, plus you have aliasing here. And if you look here at this number on the color bar scale, it says 24. This has to be between 30 and 40 centimeters per second for a carotid ultrasound. Normally, for ghosting artifacts, you would increase your wall filter. However, in this instance, you want to increase your color scale first. Your color scale represents your PRF. So let's Fix the PRF first, and then your wall filter. For this question, it's going to be increase the pulse repetition frequency. Question 78. All of the following modes has an x-axis that represents depth, except A, M mode, B, A mode, or C, B mode. The answer is A, M mode. The X axis on M mode represents time. Question 79. Any exam that causes an elevation in temperature of blank may be used without reservation. A, less than two degrees Celsius. B, more than two degrees Celsius. C, more than 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit or D, less than 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The answer is A, less than two degrees Celsius. Okay, here we go. Question 80, what is happening to the special waveform as it traverses across the screen on the right side? A, the scanning angle is increased to 90 degrees. B, the wall filter was adjusted too high. C, the spectral gain was adjusted too low, or D, the reject was adjusted too high. So what's happening to this waveform as it traverses from left to right here? The answer is B, the wall filter was adjusted too high. Question 81. Sound will travel faster in A, in areas that are less compressible and with less elasticity, B, regions of compression, C, regions of rarefaction, or D, a linear sound wave behavior. The answer is B, regions of compression. Question 82. Which of the following describes the mechanistic approach for study techniques involving the biologic effects? A, correlate exposure and effects. B, acquire review data from patients or animals. C, identify exposure response relationship. Or D, theoretical analysis to estimate scope of bioeffects at various exposures.
The answer is D, theoretical analysis to estimate scope of bioeffects at various exposures. Question 83, which of the following does not belong with the group? A, normal, B, shear stresses, C, transient cavitation, or D, inertial cavitation? The answer is B, shear stresses. Question 84, which of the following is the best way to improve this color Doppler image? A, increase the pulse repetition frequency. B, increase the persistence. C, increase the wall filter. Or D, increase the color gain. The answer is B, increase the persistence. Now the reason why we're not increasing the pulse repetition frequency is because if you look at the color scale here, it says 116, so that's set way high and we don't have any color Doppler. We don't wanna mess the color gain just yet. That should be our last resort. And obviously we're not gonna increase the wall filter. So increasing the persistence will help fill in the color Doppler. You can kind of see there's little blips here of color. So you can kind of tell that the color Doppler wants to fill in. So you want to increase the persistence to help fill in the rest of the vessel with color Doppler. If that doesn't work, then you go to increasing the color gain. But color gain should be the last resort. Question 86. Which of the following does not belong with the group? A. Time gain compensation. B. Swept gain. C. Depth gain compensation, or D, receiver gain? The answer is D, receiver gain. Receiver gain is part of amplification. Question 87. What is the direction of blood flow? A, right to left. B, unable to determine, C, left to right, or D, there is no blood flow. The answer is B, unable to determine. If you notice here in the image, where is the color scale? There's no color scale. If there's no color scale, you can't determine the direction of blood flow. Question 88, which of the following does not belong with the group? A, high duty factor. B, low pulse repetition frequency. C, short pulse repetition period. Or D, shallow imaging. The answer is B, low pulse repetition frequency. To make this correct, obviously it would be a higher pulse repetition frequency. So sometimes if you look at the rest of your options in your question, sometimes it'll give you a hint as to what will not work. For instance, so shallow imaging and high duty factor are hand in hand. So we know that with shallow imaging, you're gonna have a higher pulse repetition frequency. And remember, pulse repetition period and pulse repetition frequency are inversely related. Question 89. Which of the following does not belong with the group? A. Suppression. B. Compression. C. Dynamic range. Or D. Log compression. The answer is A, suppression. Suppression is synonymous with reject and threshold. Question 90. The portion of the TGC curve that represents the depth in which variable compensation begins is known as what? A, the knee, B, near gain, C, slope, or D, delay.
The answer is D, delay. Question 91. The best epidemiological studies are A, perspective and designed, B, retrospective and observational, C, retrospective and controlled, or D, perspective and randomized. The answer is D, perspective and randomized. Question 92. A high mechanical index, A, is low beam strength, B, is created by linear behaviors, C, does not create harmonics, or D, is created from the lowest frequency of sound. The answer is D, is created from the lowest frequency of sound. Question 93. The portion of the TGC curve responsible for indicating the maximum amount of compensation that the receiver can provide is known as what? A. Near gain. B. Knee. C. Slope. Or D. Far gain. The answer is D. Far gain. Question 94. What is the least output intensity used in ultrasound? A. Grayscale imaging. B. Pulse Doppler. C. Color Doppler. Or D. 3D imaging. The answer is A. Grayscale imaging. Question 95. Focus beams are A have never been correlated with temperature elevation in tissue, B, only related to temperature elevation in non-living objects, C, less likely to cause temperature elevation in tissue, or D, more likely to cause temperature elevation in tissue. The answer is C, less likely to cause temperature elevation in tissue. And this is because when a beam is focused in one little small area, the increasing temperatures will quickly dissipate in the surrounding tissues. Question 96. All of the following modes has a y-axis except A, M mode, B, A mode, or C, B mode. The answer is C, B mode. Question 97. The problem with thermal mechanism is A, fetal soft tissue adjacent to vital organs are of great concern. B, fetal soft tissue adjacent to the focal point of the beam are of great concern. C, fetal soft tissue close to the near field beam are of great concern. Or D, fetal soft tissue adjacent to bone are of great concern. The answer is D, fetal soft tissue adjacent to bone are of great concern. This is because bone is an absorber. If bone is absorbing the energy of the ultrasound, it could heat up the surrounding tissue around it. Question 98, the mechanical index is more likely to cause cavitation with A, higher pressures and lower frequencies, B, higher pressures and higher frequencies, C, lower pressures and higher frequencies, or D, lower pressures and lower frequencies. The answer is A, higher pressures and lower frequencies. Question 99. Which of the following does not belong with the group? A, microstreaming. B, shear stresses. C, highly localized. Or D, bubbles do not burst. The answer is C, highly localized. 
This is synonymous with transient cavitation. And these other ones, microstreaming, shear stresses, and bubbles do not burst, is part or synonymous with stable cavitation. Question 100. Which of the following regulates system and transducer outputs? A. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. B. The Environmental Protection Agency. C. World Health Organization. Or D. The Food and Drug Administration. The answer is D, the Food and Drug Administration. Well, this completes our next 25 questions. Like before, I'll keep writing 25 more questions and upload that video. I'm Jim with ultrasoundboardreview.com. Thank you so much for watching.